Hey, it's John here from John Still Runs. Today, we're going to talk about a Garmin metric called performance condition. We're going to ask four questions. What is it? How does it work? What use is it? And how accurate is it? Firstly, what is it? Quite simply, it's a number between minus 20 and plus 20 indicating how fresh your body is on the run. Secondly, how does it work? Well, in the first few minutes of your run, using your heart rate response to the pace you are going, the number is calculated. Then, if you include it as a data field, you can keep track of that number during the run. Thirdly, what use is it? For me, it gives me an idea of how my body is going. Sometimes better than I'm feeling initially. If, for example, I got a plus six at the first reading about 10 minutes into the run, I know generally the rest of the run will probably go well and be good for me. If the number is negative, however, on or near the start, my body is tired and perhaps more vulnerable to illness or injury. I won't necessarily stop the run, but I will ease back the pace and or shorten the distance. And finally, fourthly, how accurate is it? Well, the validity is probably low, but the reliability is probably pretty good. What does that mean? Well, the calculation of performance condition is made by an estimated VO2 max and recordings of heart rate and pace. The pace estimates are good, I think, but the estimate of VO2 max and heart rate recordings are dependent on mathematical algorithms and heart rate centers, sensors which can be off and not entirely accurate. But Reliability is probably pretty good, I think, because the changes in performance condition are consistent with its ups and downs for each individual. Therefore, telling me information helpful to how I approach the run. Do I go for it or do I ease up or somewhere in the middle? Performance condition.